Hey everyone and welcome back to Mount and Blade Warband with the Nova Aetas mod and uh, yeah today I'm actually going to hunt down the Marcus Devlian not really hunt down but he's the one I need to do in order to fulfill the quest for my lady um, but uh, right now we actually have a weekly budget pop up and since that only happens every week I did uh, feel like it would be a great opportunity to start the series here so as you can see we'll be making we're making a lot of money most of this obviously comes from our residences renting out our uh, labor houses as well as our patrician mansion in our great noble house uh, but you can see we're also making some decent cash from our uh, blacksmith here in Alderburg also from our tailor and Veluca and uh, we're not making too much money from our carpenter in Zendar but yeah we'll uh, we'll invest in these um, enterprises a little bit more and then they should be making a little bit more money as well and yeah obviously we have a lot of that stored up so we're definitely gonna have to be buying something with it otherwise we're just missing out and yeah because one of our traits we are actually gaining some morale here which is kind of nice. Now, I've just asked one of the lords in Alderburg, um where we find that Marcus Devlian, and he told me that he is somewhere in this, well, actually in this town, but uh, that was obviously quite a while ago, so we'll see if he's still here. Yes, there seems to be a tournament going on, and I could obviously go ahead and join that, um, but I'm actually not too interested, as that obviously takes quite a long time, so for now, I just want to go ahead Go to the castle and join the feast. And obviously, I do not, uh, I should not forget to bow before uh, the lords here. So yeah, yeah, I do not want to talk to you. Nope. Um, this is obviously this is the hall. It I've not seen a different scene for the hall so far. I've only seen those. But then again, I've only been in, well, I think I've only been in Catholic halls or Christian, anyways. There he is. Alright, now I actually don't really want to bow before him because I kind of want to duel him, but I, I guess we'll have no uh, real choice. We'll bow before him, otherwise we won't have the options to talk to him properly. We meet again, Aristocrat Tobias, okay, yes. Um, so, yeah, relinquish your suit of Lady Arena. That's why we are here, and uh, there you go. Um, do you fear to fight me? Or what? Do you intend to duel over Lady? Yes. I'll let you know. Our liege frowns on this sort of hot-headed challenge. Well, I don't have a liege. I'm a free merchant, so I don't know what you're talking about. When every man must stand together against a foreign foe. So yeah, apparently he is afraid. Uh, I can, uh, I can imagine. I mean, we have quite a lot of room. Oh wow, he's pissed. Call me a coward. Well, well, you leave me no choice. All right, so we are going to prepare for duel. That's going to be very interesting. Um, oh, and shit, I do not have a shield. Well, that's not going to go too well, is it? Oh, it's actually going... Oh, wow! I poked him! Did you see that? I poked him three times, and it actually worked. Wow. We did lose honor for that, which is kind of interesting, because we just defended the honor of a lady. So we shouldn't really lose any, but whatever. Um, I guess that will give us a lot of... Uh, relation booth with her and this guy is very much pissed off yeah so let all those present today witness that you have defeated me and I shall abandon my suit of lady arena are you satisfied you heartless bastard um, I suppose so I do suppose so so I think what I'm gonna do now is I will actually I will probably attend this uh, tournament once more but I'll do that off camera because obviously I need this time uh, that that once once a week episode I need all the time I can get to actually show you new stuff so I will not be showing you this tournament but I will come back as soon as it has finished so I'll see you guys in a second so in previous episodes, I've shown you how to mine and how to cut wood. And now I think it's only natural that I will show you the third thing, uh, the third, I guess, peasant uh, occupation, peasant profession, and that is farming. So um, instead of actually getting a charter for like, like you have for forestation and uh, the quarry, you actually have to build up a farm yourself. So basically you need a little bit of timber and I believe a little bit of stone as well in order to set up your farm. You then get to name that farm and uh, basically you then have to plant a couple of seeds and then you can start uh, harvesting. Uh, well, after obviously your uh, wheat has grown, you can start harvesting something and uh, eventually there will be a pop-up that tells you that you uh, some one of your fields is ready to harvest and that has actually happened. So we can go ahead and visit our farm here and we can go ahead and also uh, 
well harvest some of the stuff. So first of all, we're going to have to access the chest symbol because I need to equip a farming sickle. That's very important because just like the woodcutter axe and mining pickaxe, you need these tools in order to actually get the resources. Now I did, did I mention the bullets that I, I think I did. Yeah. In the last episode, I did craft some bullets for our firearms. I, I think I did actually mention that. Let's put them over here though. Um, so yeah. And then we can also interact with the workbench here. And basically there's a guide on farming for those of you who don't know, but it's not really that difficult. You can plant seeds. You need 10 seeds in order to, uh, plant, uh, seeds on the field. We will show that later. Um, but yeah, basically just start harvesting. We actually have two fields that are ready. I'm going to show you field one because the other fields are not as good. It's still a little bit buggy at times. So that's, uh, you know, making the experience a little bit less enjoyable but still so basically you have your you have your uh farming sickle here i guess i should show that um maybe the first person not the best i will show it like this so you have your farming sickle and all you need to do is this and you have uh, earned one prestige got the item flower and sometimes uh when you harvest these crops you also get some seeds and in in field one the field one is that is the one i'm using right now you get seeds very often um, you actually get more seeds than you need in order to replant this uh, this field. So yeah, that's pretty good. You only have to buy seeds initially, um, and then you don't have to get them anymore as the fields are somewhat self-sustaining. Now, the only problem you have when harvesting here is that there is a lot of invisible walls that stop you, prevent you from actually, yeah, well, going places uh, from time to time. And, you know, in field one, that is still okay. But the other fields are actually quite frustrating sometimes. So this is peasant's work uh, that uh, you should probably just do in the beginning to get a little bit of prestige. And money is actually a pretty, pretty good source of income. But uh, later on, as you have more money and as you get a better, better at tournaments, I guess, you should not really be doing this. Um, this, as I said, is peasant's work. Uh, I'm just doing that to remind myself where I come from. Um, right, because uh, it's it's always good to uh, remember your roots, right? So yeah, we come from the lowest of the lowest classes. Um, so okay, and we actually full in our inventory. That's something you should try to prevent uh, from actually hitting, because then it never stops telling you. So you have to head back as quickly as possible to your uh, little shed here. Uh, open the chest, and then you can just put your uh, things in there. Now you will notice that we already have quite a lot of seeds and you can spend them on, uh, well, uh, well, you can spend them on your fields, but we'll not do that right now. We'll do that uh, later. I will show you, but yeah, that's fine. And uh, let's just grab our farming sickle again. This is basically takes two rounds, depending on your inventory management. I actually have a lot, um, but obviously I also carry a lot of stuff with me. So yeah. Um, Let's, uh, can we get there? No, apparently not. All right, let's, uh, let's get here then instead. Very nice. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. It is somewhat relaxing. In field one, as I said, if you can get past these walls, then that's cool. The others are a little bit more frustrating, but the developer of the mod is aware of this, and he did mention that in the next update that this uh, will get fixed. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And, yeah, there we go. We cleared the field, so very nice. We're just going to head back over. Actually, once you've uh, cleared everything here, uh, you can also just uh, hit tab and visit the farm this way. It's a little bit faster. You shouldn't do that, though, while you are in the middle of harvesting a field because then you just lose all your progress, and that's something you obviously don't want. Okay, so uh, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seeds. So let's get one, two, three more. And now I can show you, just in that with your workbench, uh, plant seeds, and then you can pick which field you want. So field one, we're going to pick yes. And uh, yeah, you can get outside and you can see that there's already something growing. It's obviously not yet possible for you to harvest it, but next one will probably be field two that I've already ready. Then we have field three up there. That's behind this this barn there, I guess. And field four is currently not being worked because I can't really be bothered to uh, do that. But yeah, so uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to be picking up some of our resources here, some of this flour, and I guess we're going to be selling the seeds as well because we simply don't need that many. Um, and yeah, I'll be selling that. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's not really very expensive uh, to, well, I guess this, it's not really worth much, I should say, but um, the sheer amount of, of floor that you can get is uh, actually quite worth a lot. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to be selling this a little bit, and once I'm done with this, I'll cut right back. So um, yeah, 
Uh, actually, you know what? No, L let's hold on. What's this? It is not safe for you to enter any public place in this town. The lord of this town has forbidden access to this town for you. Oh, what? No way. No way. Okay. Wait, that's not true, is it? What? That makes no sense. That makes absolutely no sense. Why is that the case? All right, who is Duke Ar Arshelius? Why? Okay, let's let's try and fix that. That's interesting. I didn't know. Wait, why? Why would he do that? We meet again. Um, what is your problem? Do we have any tasks? Yes, we have heard of Qatar extremists that have established a hideout in this area. Yes, I know of that. The Qatar Castle and have been attacking travelers such as me. If you could find their lair and destroy, we would be very grateful. You know what, we're actually gonna accept this because uh, we did not improve relations just yet. Ah, uh, that is kind of annoying. So how do I get in this town? Can I manage my property? I could do that at the very least, okay. I cannot get into, uh, that's annoying. Well, I guess I'm going to have to sell my resources somewhere else, and I will have to get some troops because we're not going to be able to get this. This is what we need to destroy in order to improve relations with this lord. Um, hmm. Wow, okay, I was not aware that they could do that. Well, that's kind of annoying. Can I actually, let me quickly check one thing. Can I still visit my blacksmith? Yes, apparently so. Okay, well, at least that's good then. Hmm. All right, well... I guess I'm going to be fixing this. I will uh, sell my things over there and then I will hire enough men hopefully so we can take out this castle. I've never done this. I've never attempted it even. So I'm not sure how well this is going to go. But yeah. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so we have been intercepted on our way to fulfill our task. Which is very unfortunate because we're fighting 25 Swadian uh, light infantry. Which is kind of annoying. Uh, so we're going to have to have our people charge in. And I guess my companions as well. I don't know. Well, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I just have everyone charge in. Except my archers maybe. And we're hopefully going to be able to clear this up. But I'm not too sure. As these guys are some pretty, pretty strong people. Now, I'm dealing quite some good damage. But yeah, as you can see, uh, we're losing quite a lot of our people. That's not really nice. Damn, I was really... <sighs> yeah, I was I was hoping we could get away from them, but they were, for some reason, incredibly fast. Alright, I'll just go in around like this. I mean, every time we strike, we actually cut one of them down. It's just that we're losing people as well. Alright, we're just losing people left and right. Uh, can you, like, why are we actually fighting with a horse on a hill? That's not really making much sense. Ah, uh, man, this sucks. This really freaking sucks, especially because our horse is not doing too well. Alright, we'll try and get the stragglers first. Okay, we've actually advanced a level. Well, no wonder. We're basically fighting them. Oh, shoot. This guy was quick. Basically, fighting them on our own. Ah. Alright. Well, luckily, we have some good armor. And a fast horse. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. We are about to die. We are about to die. Now, um, one thing I should probably tell you, and that is pretty cool about this mod, you also have some combat abilities. I'm not really sure how you can pop up that window, but if I press 5 on my numpad, I will heal myself. You'll see that right now. So I just healed myself. I don't know why I just left my thing and why I equipped my uh, f farming thing, but... Oh, shit. Okay. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I healed myself. Oh. Might not be enough, though. Ooh, okay, three people left. Come on, you can do it. Ooh. Yes! Oh my god, guys. Whew. I couldn't really talk right there, but uh, that was 
That was close. So yeah, uh, these combat abilities I don't really use that much as I haven't really fought all that much in in these uh, whew, in in this mod so far because I'm obviously more a trader. But it did help me quite a bit. Now basically, when you press this, um, you you lose experience, as you can see, but you recover a certain amount of uh, hit points. You can do that every 60 seconds. And there's a couple other things as well. You can get Rage, which I believe gives you extra strength, uh, Power Strike and, and Iron Flesh. I think you can also do a Scream that basically makes uh, surrounding enemies back off. And then you can also heal your troops. There's a couple of other things. I simply don't know how I can get this... A menu to pop up. I guess I'll have to figure that out. But uh, yeah, for now, I'm just happy that we survived. We did lose quite a lot of men, which is very sad. Six killed, five wounded, but we killed 25 of them. So yeah, obviously. Um, and we have a lot of... Oh, that's so unfortunate. I cannot take any of this. It would be worth so much, but I cannot take any of this. <sighs> well, I, I guess I'm going to have to get... So I'm going to have to get rid of this because this is obviously worth so much more. Look at this. Look at these helmets. Look how much they're worth. So yeah, let's get a couple of swords as well, I guess. Yeah, I'm not... <sighs> Probably should get even more here, but that's fine. I think we'll leave it like this. And yeah, that's that's okay. We'll just move. We did get a lot of money and we did... Uh, well, one of our companions leveled up as well. So let's have a quick look at her. Uh, what about your skills? You can get some more intelligence. Yeah, I think that's the best. And you have spotting. You are our pathfinder, I see. So I'm going to give you a little bit more tracking and spotting. Yeah, I guess that's fine. And we'll increase your throwing. You have, you have a lot of throwing weapons. Yeah, that's fine. And we can upgrade you to a Swordium Sharpshooter. Okay. Wow, we lost all the other troops that we had. Hmm. Well, that sucks. And our character himself. Now, I cannot get any more craftsmanship because that is capped from agility, so I think we're going to have to increase that. So yeah, we'll do that, and we'll get this one point in... Hmm, first aid? Yeah, I guess, or surgery, maybe. That so would be useful. I guess, no, actually, hmm. I guess we'll put that in surgery, actually, yeah. Let's get a second point there. And we'll increase firearms. I've been increasing firearms for a lot because obviously I I intend on building a firearm for myself. So obviously once I use that, I do want to be uh, quite capable of using it as well. So yeah, now at least we should be a little faster now. So that's good. Let's go ahead and get in here now. Yeah, we could visit our tailor. I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm basically just here because I want to visit a tavern and see if we can maybe recruit some extra troops. That would be useful. Maybe some mercenaries. Now, I don't really want to spend the money, but we kind of have to if we want to get back into our home. Okay, there's a couple people we could hire, but I think we want to go for the Geronian guard here. Yes, me and three of my mates. Yes, 2,500 florins. We have the money right now. We also can get a cannoneer, but I don't think we'll do that at this moment. All kinds of people at Ransom Broker. Hmm. Okay. Um, I don't have anyone I can sell. Alright, so that doesn't really make much sense. There's a farmer and method. I'm not going to talk to you right now. Alright, um, yeah, basically, I I had something in mind. I, right, I wanted to, to hire men to get rid of these people. I don't think I have enough just yet. Four of the Geronian Guard is probably good. Um, but yeah, I think we're actually going to make our way to Zendar first. Or should we attempt to take out the Cathar Castle? I'm not sure. We're a bit wounded. I think we want to make our way to Zendar first and try and meet with our lady. And we obviously need to make sure that we're not going to get intercepted by any enemies here. That would be quite useful. Yes. Make your way over there. Slowly but surely. Ooh. Oh, and I guess we should probably also uh, sell our things, right? That would probably make a lot of sense as well. So let's go ahead and sell the things that we've taken um, because we have better helmets than that yes so we'll sell this all all this stuff yes and the shield as well I think we have better things equipped already all right we'll sell this stuff as well rather worthless in comparison obviously and the price goes down very quickly as well all right so this is 1600 florins and I guess we'll sell this as well simply because we can and the dirty water I don't want any either it's just it's dirty uh, we'll keep the stone around 
timber as well. Okay. So, um, let's see. I guess we're going to go ahead and, well, do a couple things. First of all, we're going to visit our lady here. Visit the lady arena, yes. Go with the nurse. And we did finish her quest, so she should like us quite a bit more. Press B before the lord. Well, there, I don't think there's any lords here. Where's the lady? Oh, she's standing on the throne. That's quite interesting. And her face is hidden. Okay, no longer. Oh, there she is. Doesn't she look beautiful? I do think so. Look at that. Yes. So, let's talk to her. Oh, aristocrat Tobias. I like that she is telling us that we're an aristocrat. I've heard that you won your duel with Marcus Devlian. I'm grateful that you have delivered me from that man's attentions. Yes, there you go. Uh, it's so delightful to have a chance to spend some time together. I must say I do an envy your freedom to ride out and experience the world. Okay. Well, I uh, I will ask about poetry because I do know one thing. Um, so we'll, we'll go for that. And we'll see how much she likes it. Storming out the fortress of love. She is not impressed at all. Well, okay. Um, do you think that we may have a future together? Uh, I don't... Okay, not yet. Alright, fine. Well, that's okay. I did not really expect that as of yet. But yeah, um, let's actually quickly leave here. Did we finish? No, we still have the quest to finish the lady. So let's actually go ahead and do that. We might improve our relations once more. So let's do that. Um, oh yeah, we can visit her once again. That's kind of strange. So we should improve relations once again. So we were at 9. So we should get up to 10. Unfortunately, I don't know any more poetry. And this is a rather long walk, my lady. Uh, yes, okay. Yeah, there's not much I can do here. Ah, <sighs> cutting her would be, uh, cool, obviously, but for now, I do want to make sure that we visit our carpenter, because, as I said, we are here to, uh, craft a, a barrel, right? Um, well, a rifle, or something like that. Is that actually here, used a workbench? No. Mm, flintlock pistol, right. Craftsmanship of six. Uh, I can't even do that. I was gonna go for this one, the wheel lock pistol. We cannot go for that. Hmm. But I guess since we are in need... Actually, we are in need of a flint... What is this? A stock. Okay. So I guess we're going to go for intermediates. So that at least we do something useful. Right. So not a wooden leg, but a stock. That's what we want. So we'll craft this. Oh, we immediately got it. Alright, fine. Um, so basically now I have everything... Please finish the current... Oh, okay, I didn't do that just yet. Okay, I, I see. Okay, so we're going to be crafting a little bit more. Saw the timber beam. Um, okay. Well, that's kind of cool. Whoa, okay. Ah, yeah, I should not move the camera. But yeah, that's kind of cool. Alright, what, what is next? Uh, go over there. I see. That's what I needed the timber for. Use the shave horse. Okay, oop. Okay. That is really nice. Um, okay. Now, apply Warnish. I don't even know what that is. Apparently, we are sitting down a lot here in this uh, profession. That's okay. And that was it. Okay, we got stock. It does look a little bit different, though. So let's, uh, let's see uh, what we can do now. I do want to have... Don't crash on me. The flintlock pistol. Well, actually, I want this pistol, in fact. Because 125 damage, the accuracy is not terrible, and the speed is not terrible either. So, yeah, that would be kind of cool to have. We have the bullets already. We have everything that's required. We just need more craftsmanship scales. We need to get our agility up to 18 before we can get this pistol. That's kind of annoying. Is there anything else we can maybe get? I just kind of want to use it now at this point. Now this is all requires six craftsmanship scale. Ah oh, man, that's too bad. That is too bad indeed. Well, I guess there's not much we can do. What we could do maybe is um, we could invest in this business. But I first want to see if we can maybe manage the property here and buy something. Yes, a town palace. This is actually very close. We have about 60, 60,000 florins. So I might be able, yes, we need five, 4,000 more florins, and then we would be able to get this. 
Okay, so I believe I'm gonna try and get this Qatar castle and this Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and get some more troops Maybe even in the tavern here and we'll try and destroy the Qatar castle We have some convoy guards. They're not really all that useful, but I guess I'll get them anyways There's cannoneers there. Yeah, we'll hire them and I guess we're gonna attempt to take out the Qatar heretics So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second Okay guys, so uh, I've been uh, waiting in the uh, Tavern of Aldeburg for quite some time just so that we could heal up ourselves as well as our companions. And yeah, um, a lot of people are following us right now. So this needs to be successful because otherwise we're going to be so in trouble. So I hope that we are not going to mess this up. Um, so yeah, let's see what, what we can do. We're going to attack the hideout. I did put my best troops in front. So hopefully we're going to be able to destroy our enemies here. But yeah, you've not seen them, but they are scary. So yeah, we'll see. Hopefully there's not going to be too many that we need to fight. Okay, so what? This is an actual castle. Well, luckily we have these uh, Geronian guards. I hope that they're actually going to be good in, in combat. I don't really know. I I'm just assuming that they're good. We ha we will see. I guess how many? I have one archer with us. I hope everyone is going to charge. I hope the archer as well. I'm not sure. So I guess we're going to have to go up here. Where are the enemies? Oh, there's a lot of them. Eight enemies. <sighs> they actually have one more troop than we do. Okay, uh, actually everyone can you oh Okay, okay Yes, okay, he's killing our first one Okay, everyone just charge I guess oh and I need to I... Oh. Okay, we killed one two Okay, we killed a couple of them. How many are left? Uh, four. Okay. But this is a different guy. Okay, that was just a looter. Okay, can you guys? Uh, these guys are pretty nuts, actually. I like these guards. What is this guy doing? This is our sharpshooter. Can we get him up here, maybe? He's not... Okay, I... I... Oh, oh, there's one down there. I see. Okay. Um, don't kill my sharpshooter though. He's the only ranged guy I have. And we need to make sure that we stay alive. Okay, I like these Geronian guards. They're really good. Um, I want you to charge in, please. Because I'm a little bit worried. There's still three enemies left. They keep respawning, I feel like. And the archer, you can follow us, please. That'd be quite useful. Whew. Alright, so we're gonna make our way in here. I hope that they don't have any ranged units. Uh, wow, they have a real castle. That's kind of amazing. Oh, did he just spawn? I think he just spawned right here. I think he might have just spawned right here. Yes, he has. I wonder if they spawn after a certain amount of time. If so, that would actually be quite bad. All right, so this guy is running away. I hope that our Geronian guards will be able to deal with them. Yes, it seems like... Very nice. He's keeping on a distance. Yes, good job, guys. Good job. You deserve a lot of rum. I, I'm going to buy you... A bottle of rum. Yes, there's more people coming from down there. What the heck? They keep they keep coming. What the heck? What I'm supposed to do? Why there's eleven of them now? What the heck? All right, we'll have you stay here, I suppose. Why is there so many? They just keep they just keep on coming. Oh my god. It's it's now three of them. I think I'm, I might... You know what? I might have to kind of kill their holy side or something. I, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm actually going to try and go in here because I have the feeling that we need to kind of destroy a relic or something because they just keep coming back. And I don't know, like, what the, where they're coming from. But there's one left. Okay, maybe that's the last one? Okay, that, that was the last one. It is... Okay, wow. Whew! We killed 24 of them. They were actually not that difficult to defeat now. But in the beginning, they were much, much worse, actually. Uh, but I did level up quite a bit in between. And we did have some good troops as well. 
All right, so we did manage to destroy them. Very nice. We actually have some new gauntlets. I'm going to be using them, of course, and we'll give the rest to others. And there's uh, some more black war horses. Very nice. A great sword is not bad either. And I guess I should probably put my... should probably put that thing here somewhere. And that's another helmet. And I guess we'll... Oh, we have some bread as well. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll pick that up and the rest as well because we can all sell this nice so that should improve our relation with that lord we just need to obviously make sure that we get out of this oh yeah it looks good okay and he's now actually coming to our help very good so we'll have to tell him a messenger arrives uh, is allowed to pass into your camp um he leaves you with a sealed letter within you find a formal invitation by king Cedrus to a tournament held in praven we'll uh, probably attend that but uh, first let's actually talk to this guy um Yes, we did improve relations. Very nice. We gained a 1,500 Florence. And uh, Serafina gained a level. Okay, so does that mean I can actually get into the town again? Because that's the whole reason why... Well, not the entire reason why I've done it. But that's part of the reason why I've done it. So, can I? Yes. Okay, very good. Whew. Well, that was actually quite important. So, let's go ahead and sell the flower here. As that is very good. Uh, a lot of... Uh, a good price here. Um, and I guess we'll... Uh, just sell off this stuff as well. Maybe this helmet too. This will keep. And I guess, not too sure about the great sword, but yeah, that's that's nice. Uh, I guess though, on this note, I will end this episode. And in the next episode, I actually want to uh, head over to Zendar. And we're going to be buying a ship. And then we'll make our way over to the new world. Something that I have not really talked about yet. But in this mod, you can explore some things. And more importantly, you can actually set up colonies. And that's something that we're going to try to do in the next episode. But yeah, uh, for now, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.